All right, ask away. So today, the big question is, what are the biggest struggles or biggest fear or challenge that you have in your life or in uni right now? Wait, wait, are they a press a button? Hello, is it still working? Is it still working? Okay. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. So, but what if people don't know what one minute means? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. Well, don't I don't feel like one minute co podcast is more catchy. Okay. One minute podcast. Okay, true, true, true. All right, that's, that's my thought process. All right. M I N. Make sure it's the same one. Yeah. N score. Oh hell no! Uh, <laughs> why should I say so thin? <laughs> Fuck! <You're listening> Fuck! <laughs> hey, do you think you guys can do it for us? Wow! Gen Z boss and me. You just gotta give it a little kick. Whatever you want. For one minute. Actually, like, what if I don't want to talk about it? Is it controversial? If it's controversial, I'm not talking about it. It won't be controversial. I'm not talking about if it's controversial. If it's controversial, you can just say no comment. Okay. Wait, should I like give an introduction? Okay. Hey guys, I'm Frank from Mac. Um, and we're starting our first episode of the One Minute Podcast. Um, and today I'm here with... I'm Smarin. Smarin? Oh. <laughs> it's a windy day. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit windy. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy there. Alright, so Smarin, I just have one question for you today. Okay. What would you say is the biggest fear or challenge that you're currently facing in your life right now? Um... Honestly, that is a good question. Yeah? I think at this point, it would probably be trying to find an internship. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a big issue with a lot of uni students yeah, these days. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, anything specific you'd like to know? Because like, well, when you're trying to get an internship, they're always looking for past experience, right? Oh, yeah, of course. But how do you get past experience? if the internship is the first stage, so... I've been I asking like, myself the same thing yeah, for a while now. Yeah, that's always like the biggest, um, biggest issue with that. Yeah. But, um, what are you in? Second year now? I'm in my fourth year actually. Fourth year? But I've still got like two more years to go. Oh, you're chilling, you're chilling. Yeah. Um, what'd you say before? <laughs> about what, specifically? <laughs> oh, like something about any other questions or something? Yeah, like was there anything specific you want to know about that fear? Um, how are you like, trying to cope with it um well i don't think there's really anything you can do besides just keep applying for jobs right. and hope someone eventually right. like gets back to you right um trying to do volunteering i guess so yeah like, yeah that's good i'll be honest i haven't really done as much as i would have liked to mm, mm. but you know that's, it, it's tough that's true that's true i feel like um monash could give more support in that regard mm, like some other mm. unis they set you up with programs but at least in engineering monash doesn't really do much about yeah, it. yeah for sure for sure is there some kind of like IBL internship support program um, for engineering or? Um, I, I believe there is something along the lines of it, but from people I've talked to, it can sometimes be a bit redundant yeah. to an extent, but I can't really comment on it because I don't know much about it. Right, right. Fair enough. Okay. Um, well, what do you love most in your life right now? Um, I don't know, I just love doing things with my friends. Yeah. We like trying new yeah. things all the time. Yeah. Um, you know, like sometimes just doing random stuff, going for a random hike someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. exploring all the buildings on campus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, things that might seem mundane, but you know, if you put in a little bit of effort, you might actually find out you really enjoy something. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think at this age especially, it's like really like your time to explore 
Yeah, for um, sure. And really like try and get as much knowledge as you can. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know, it's like a big world, so many things to do mm. and you don't want to be stuck feeling like you don't know what you are doing exactly, in life. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I think that's important. Yeah. Do you have any good um, hiking spots to give our viewers? <laughs> um, what's a really basic uh, hiking spot? Let's say Cathedral Ranges, that's quite basic. Right, um, Cathedral It's a good place ranges. to start, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm definitely not joking. Um, but no, it's, it's, a, it's a fun hike. <laughs> okay, It's a fun yeah, hike, sure. quite long. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Um, I can't think of any more questions, so we'll end it off at All right, at perfect. Uh, nice to meet you. It was a pleasure. You. It was good to meet you too. Good to meet you. And, uh, thank you. Take care, take care. Have All a good day. Shout out to the podcast. Hey! <laughs> but... <laughs> Second interview, I'm with... Oh, I'm, I'm Susie. Susie, Frank, nice to, nice meet, to meet, you. meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> um, I think you've already heard our main question for today. But what is the thing that you're struggling most with in uni right now? Or Ooh. just life in general? What are you... Life in what's general? What's your biggest fear? Yeah. Um, I guess like, especially because I'm in my final semester right now. Yeah. It's a bit like unknown on how the future is yeah. going to be. Yeah. Like... I've been a little slack with like grad programs and stuff as yeah. well, so I'm feeling a bit like, oh, sorry. Um, yeah. I just feel a little like uncertain mm. on anything that's yeah. going to happen in the future. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess that's like my biggest like concern right now. Mm, mm. Yeah, because after, or well, once you, once you get into uni from high school, mm -hmm. you're kind of just like going with the flow, just doing your units, everything's laid out yeah, exactly, in front of yeah. you. But after you're graduated, like, you actually need to decide what you want to do with your life. Yeah, you're just, like, on your own, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's definitely quite scary. Um, but I guess it's just a bunch of figuring out what you might want to do, trying new things, stuff like that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But how is, like, the grind for finding a job? Um, it's looking a bit... Not great. <laughs> um, especially because <laughs> especially like uni started now. Yeah, and I'm yeah. also like in like another club. Oh, all yeah. That jazz. yeah. Um, what, what club? Oh, GDSC. Oh, GDSC. What do you guys do? Um, we just cover anything that's like Google based, like skills oh, and technology. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds, that's, that's like Mac, right? Mean plug. Yeah. 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 No, that's good. That's good. But yeah, just like handling all of that at the same time. Like, yeah. Because, um, like, I guess, like, finding grad programs isn't really a part of my routine. Yeah, It's a yeah. little, like, odd for me to, like, fit it in in my time. Yeah, Especially because yeah. it's, like, pretty, like, hectic mm, right mm. now. So. Especially if you're quite busy. Um, but I guess it's just, it's just about, like, how much you want that grad, yeah. I guess. <laughs> and then, like, really making sacrifices to do those online assessments, practice for your interview skills, yeah, stuff like that. for sure. Yeah. Like, it's definitely important. Mm. But I feel like because it feels so unknown, yeah. I feel like sometimes it's a bit hard to reach. Mm. So that's mm. why it's a bit like, it's, it's just really hard to yeah. start sometimes. I think yeah. if you have a few friends that have gotten grads or can get like a strong support system going on, maybe like at your um, GDSC, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if you talk to people who are also struggling with the same thing, I think that definitely helps yeah, as definitely well feel like comforting as yeah well. yeah because yeah, yeah. you're like oh you failed the grad too oh same yeah you know yeah. like yeah trauma bonding yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> yeah yeah um well i guess another question would be what do you love most about your life right now oh that's that's a good question i would just say like definitely the people around me mm -hmm. um i always learn the most from the people who are in my environment yeah um yeah. This is a little cheesy, but I would say like gym as well. Okay. It's just like yeah, something yeah. I enjoy as well. Yeah, that's good. Maybe like exercising. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think those are the main, the main things. Yeah. Okay. No, that's sure. Like, <laughs> honestly, it's about appreciating the small things, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess the so. The yeah. small things really add up because it's, it's like the journey. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like enjoying the small things in life and and remembering all the work you put in, stuff like that. Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. yeah. But how do you think your gym progress is going? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this question. Is it good? Um, or? <laughs> I started a year ago. Oh, yeah? 
Um, I low key hit upper body a bit more than legs. Oh yeah. Um, hopefully it's not visible my legs right now. Right. Um, <laughs> right. Please don't include this. Right. <laughs> I'd say it's okay. Yeah. My genetics are okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I have a few factors at home that like I guess like limit how far I can go with progress, but right, I'd right. say it's it's okay. Yeah, it's you okay. seem quite busy, so I think it's always a struggle to fit all these things into your schedule. Yeah. Yeah, but it's about like. Just trying as hard as you can to to make things work, yeah. 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 So true. All right, cool. I think that's all we have for today. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Susie. You too. Frank, yes? Yeah. 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 Pleasure, yeah. pleasure to meet you too. Yay. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, second interview, pretty good. Feeling nonchalant and... Nonchalant. And ready to continue. Um, so... I'm here with Michelle. Michelle, Frank, nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so I guess we'll just get started off off the bat. Um, what are the biggest struggles or biggest fear or challenge that you have in your life or in uni right now? Um, I would definitely say for uni, burnt out. I oh. yeah, because I'm a third year now yeah. and it's been going. Yeah, I have another two years to yeah. go, and yeah. I think burnt out is something that a lot of my friends and I struggle with mm -hmm. because it just feels like never ending at some point. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, definitely something like that. Wait, so you said two years to go as yeah. well. What my are you studying? Is five years. I do law and criminology. Oh my god, that <laughs> is that is very intense. Yeah. Wow. A lot of reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, I know arts is, is a lot of writing and reading and stuff. Yeah. Um, a lot of papers as well. So. Yeah, definitely. Mm, mm. Mm. So, is there any way that you're trying to, like, combat being burnt out, per se? Or? I think my friends really help. The yeah. people that I am around, mm. that definitely helps because they kind of motivate me and kind of gives me, like, a different perspective. Mm. So, I'm not, like, too... I guess depressive about it yeah, or negative. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. I think really having a good support system mm, like yeah. definitely just improves your overall like happiness. Yeah, I agree. Because like everyone can help push you to do better or like yeah. motivate you as well. So yeah. yeah. And it also kind of reminds me that I'm not alone mm. and there are other people going through the yeah, same thing yeah, as well. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. I definitely think like when you're struggling with something and knowing that your friend um, is also struggling with it, it makes you feel like <laughs> that you're not stupid, right? Yeah. <laughs> that sure. you both have the same problem and you're, all, you're in the same boat, yeah. basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, struggling together. Yeah, The blind yeah. leading the blind, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, follow-up question. What, um, what do you love most in your life right now? What I love most, yeah. I definitely say my friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I yeah. kind of use it as like a outlet to deal with stress a lot. Uh -huh. For example, my friends and I, we go out often, or like just like even if I'm feeling too stressed, I ask for like a chat, mm. and they're always there for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like those kind of friends are the ones that you want to keep around as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. Like people who I able to help you out when you're down, and like really hype you up when you need it, you know? For sure. Oh. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. What about... Uh, actually, in Africa. I can't think of anything. That's right. <laughs> um, right, okay. Do you have any hobbies? Any hobbies? Yeah. Um, I'd say my hobbies... My biggest hobby is Muay Thai. Oh. <laughs> wow! Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you know what it is, but that's cool. I think it's a really good stress outlet. Mm. Really recommend people to try out martial arts. Yeah, um, for sure. A lot of gives you a lot of confidence, but helps you build your self esteem yeah. as well. Yeah, that's crazy. Like you being able to balance everything and uh, the uni <laughs> and the Muay Thai. That's yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I've actually graduated, so... Oh, you've graduated? Yeah, I, I finished last term. Oh, how so is it? I'm in, like, the same boat as Selena right now. Oh, yeah. Like, figuring out what to do with my life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. is really intimidating. Yeah. Especially since my course is so long. Yeah. It's like, I'm really thrown it's into never the ending. deep end. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, what am I going to do after I graduate? But I guess, like, once you're graduated, it's like, dude, what do I do with my life? 
Yeah, you know, real. like when you're in uni, you're like, oh frick, I gotta keep doing this. But you know where you where you're going. Yeah. Right? You know what units you have to do for yeah. next semester. And then job hunting as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh my gosh. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. So I feel like life in general is just mad scary. I think but so too. <laughs> but we're all going through it together. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> one no one, at a time. No one knows the answers. Everyone's just. Everyone's just in the dark with you as well. For sure. Yeah. So, I, like you said, having um, good friends to be with you in the dark yeah. definitely would make things easier. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. cool. I think <laughs> that was a good conversation. Yeah. Um, nice to meet you, nice Michelle. Nice to meet you too. My hands are a bit cold. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. Same. Um, and have a nice day. You too. Thank you. No worries. Yay. Good work. Like right now? Yeah. Just how you think the oh, okay. Like now? Some really top production quality. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> I feel like our fork mics really give us an edge on the competition. I, I think so as well. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, it's our fourth interview now. Going pretty well. And today I'm here with Naomi. Uh, what Naomi? Was that? Naomi? Yeah. Uh, make sure to speak into the... Oh, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so it picks up what you say. But um, I'll just get straight into the question. All right. Um, what are you struggling most with in life right now? Or in what life? is your biggest fear or challenge? Um, I think that my, my biggest fear right now is just trying to, like... Um, come to terms with I might not really be able to to do everything that I want with life but mm. I think at the same time it's also kind of a a positive thing the fact that mm. like because I don't really have the opportunity to do a lot of things in life that I'm able to like make the most of the things that I do right. end up doing in life right and you, yeah I was, I was also going to say like I think one of my biggest the things that I, I want to do to sort of counteract that would really be like just making more friends and, and sharing more experiences mm. with people mm. Mm. I mean I think you're doing a, a good job of that thank coming you, to thank our you. podcast uh, right now but um, yeah I was just curious what could you share some specifics of of things that you want to do but you can't really do because um, um, you might not have enough time was it or I think one thing that I feel like I really want to do is sort of like take up as many passions that I can find. Right. But like sometimes it's not really the actual thing of like, you know, picking up the, fashion, the passion and like enjoying it. Right. And like the hobby and enjoying it. It's more about like knowing whether I will enjoy it or not. Okay. And so it's like trying yeah. as many things as possible yeah. might not really be like the best thing because mm. you know, if mm. you keep trying everything, then you end up not even going to like indulge in whatever you do actually enjoy mm. doing. Mm. And it's about like the actual, the journey of finding it. Yeah, yeah. So basically you're, you're struggling with just finding something that you really enjoy or something that you're willing to really dive into is that yeah correct? yeah yeah i think um at the start of like finding a hobby that you really want to invest in it's definitely just trial and error seeing what you like seeing what you don't like because by just trying and failing you find out more about yourself as yeah. well um and in doing so um we're just getting harassed by security <laughs> right now, but um, hopefully it's all good. Um, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, oh, that's right. What was I saying? Let me think. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I really think it's about just trial and error, finding out what you like, what you don't like, and yeah. then pushing forward to that. So. 
So, what what have you? What kind of hobbies have you tried so far? Well, I I used to do like a, a bit of classical guitar when I was um, in high school Dude, and that's in sick. secondary. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And like I I did it for a few years, but I haven't really picked up on it as soon as I like. I think later in a high school, I kind of dropped it because of VC, and then after yep. I graduated, I got kind of like. I pretty much abandoned it overall. Right. I'm trying to pick it up again recently. Right. right. And part of that is really just like almost self-teaching me the things that I, I used to know, mm. but I'm like, or like just trying to learn more about the actual technique and like the, the art of actually playing right. the guitar and everything. Right. And it's like that stuff is really fascinating to me as mm. well. Mm. And I think part of that is also like music theory and all that other stuff mm. and like mm. stuff that kind of really intimidated me back in the day when I was doing it oh. but like now I'm trying to like come back and like approach it with a new sort of yeah. perspective as well yeah 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 I think I don't know when you're younger everything's kind of more scary yeah like but once you I don't know get older and your perspective starts changing um, you start enjoying the small things or you start even enjoying a challenge yeah because right? no one likes doing hard things but no it's about I don't know maybe just being comfortable being uncomfortable yeah right? yeah that's definitely something that I've been trying to reflect on as well just right. like thinking about the idea of like being comfortable with being uncomfortable and mm. I think a lot of the time people say that and it's a lot easier said than done. Yeah, for sure. It, it's definitely like a process that you have to go through. Yeah. But I also think that like when you're younger, the world just... The reason why the world is a lot scarier is because mm -hmm. the world just seems a lot bigger to you. Mm. But then the, the more you grow up, the more you realize that, you know, adults are people. And like, I feel like yeah. as, a, as a young... As a kid, you know, you'd always think that like, yeah. adults can do anything yeah, that they want. Yeah, yeah, they're like invincible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And but then you realize that, you know, people can be sometimes they can be kind of stupid. Yeah. You know, but sometimes yeah. they they have a lot of things about them, like a lot of layers to, mm. to just being mm. a person, and that's something you kind of kind of come to terms with as well. Yeah, yeah. It's not really that the world becomes smaller. I guess it's more of just like. The fact that the world becomes a lot more, I guess, accessible to you. Mm. And I guess sometimes that even maintains, it makes you maintain that fear of, of things being big. But in right. reality, it just means that you have a lot more stuff to really like, tap into. Right, right. Because like, as you keep getting older, like, you gain more experiences and you're, I don't know, prone to being in more... Or different situations and you're really able to like find out more about yourself yeah like i said earlier and i guess in in that sense the world expands right or yeah. your perception of the world expands yeah i think so too hmm. and i also think that i feel like a lot of people are really caught up in the idea of of being like hyper productive and always speeding through life yeah just yeah. because like you're an adult now and you have a lot more responsibilities yeah, yeah. but I, I also think that it's a lot more important to really know when to slow down as mm. well yeah and, and sometimes slowing down isn't really as much as a sin as you kind of think it is yeah yeah like taking time to to smell the roses yeah right? like really appreciating the moment instead of trying to rush through your life yeah. appreciating the struggle appreciating your wins and and overall just just loving life yeah and all it has to offer i think is is really like the goal yeah i think mm. so too mm. well um what would you say you love most about your life right now then um i think the thing that i love the most about life is is really just how much is going on i mean i know it's not really like a specific answer to yeah anything, yeah but like i i like it when my life is full mm -hmm. of, of things to do and but also a lot of thing like you have a lot of things to do but you also have the time to, to slow down and process those things mm -hmm. and 
I, I think something that's really special about life is that you never really know what's going to be thrown at you. Yeah. And so always having something new is more of like, instead of always treating it as a bad thing, is you can always treat it as something that's just another thing that you can engage with and another thing mm. you can learn yourself, like learn about your, yourself from yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely like, being able to keep busy or, f- or find things that you're able to, I don't know, just learn about or, or appreciate is definitely something that, that I think a lot of people miss out on. Yeah. Um, it's like a balance between keeping busy and also having something to do. You know, you're not too bored, but you're also not too busy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. where you can appreciate life, but you're also not bored to the point where you don't know what you're going to do, right? Because you have something to do. And it just makes your everyday schedule easier, I guess. I also think just not thinking too hard about life kind of makes it easier as well. I think a lot of people fall into the the trap of of just like thinking too much about everything that goes around their lives and trying to to process everything when they really don't have to. Yeah. Like... No one really needs to know what the meaning of life is because I don't even think anyone really get down to the bottom of that. Yeah. It's like yeah. you can't really just keep thinking about life and not actually being alive. Yeah. There's a difference between surviving and live and, and really being alive and, mm. and thriving. Yeah. Yeah. I think living is just about making the most of every moment that you can. And really living in the moment, being present and appreciating things. Yeah. And I think that's a good way to, to end our conversation, Naomi. Thank you. No <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet you. Um, thank you for your time. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Yeah, you too. See you guys later. See ya. Hi. Oh, oh you can just leave that there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Hey guys, th- that was our fourth interview. A uh, very fun conversation with Naomi. Um, very introspective guy and hopefully we get to see him in the future but it seems we might be getting kicked out because security has been yapping to Eddie for like 30 minutes but I don't I don't do you think really I'm allowed to pan to the security or should I like not do that just do like pretend you're spinning around yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. anyways <laughs> So uh, man's been yapping to security and hopefully we don't get kicked out, yeah? But we'll see what's the haps. All right, hey guys, Frank, back again. This is our fifth interview and I'm with... Akash. Akash, Frank, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Frank. Um, so today, the big question is, what is your biggest fear or what are you struggling most with in your life right now? Um... Managing with myself, with my time and right. with my thoughts and everything. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's probably my answer. Can you, you like? Um, <laughs> can you like uh, expand on that? Um, well, I'll talk about the education side of it. Like, I'm not very yeah. good at doing things on time in yeah. like a timely manner. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it, really. Okay. So you're just struggling with keeping up with all your assignments all your studies yes stuff like that and even balancing that with stuff outside in your own personal life right very correct right yes. is there anything else that takes up a lot of time in your life um sleeping yeah yeah it's <laughs> like all you know good 14 hour sleeps oh my so god I'm dude i'm jealous yeah well you know it's not the best sleep usually but it's oh sleep. really yeah yeah i feel like at, at one point, where you pass like the eight hour threshold, it's, <laughs> you start feeling worse and after you I sleep. I got that six hours after, you know. Yeah. Not feeling great when I wake up Dude, and knowing I slept like crazy. That's awful. <laughs> I've, I think it's definitely a balance in, in sleeping, but yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right, what do you love most in your life right now then? Uh, shit. Maybe the free time that I've got. Right. I very much cherish. <laughs> I thought you, you were know. busy. <laughs> no, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like the free time that I do get. Right, right. Great. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair like, enough. Fair enough. You know, 
even yeah. sitting on the campus is pretty cool. Good weather out today. Well. Yeah, yeah. All I'm glad stuff. it's sunny, actually. Quite nice. Feel yeah. Windy, but yeah. Yeah, but what, that's, that's it. What do you spend um, doing in your free time? What do you do? Uh, I'm trying to get to Masters in TFT. Oh, shit. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> Damn. I got a year to do it. Then I get 200 okay. bucks for my friend. He thinks I can't okay, do it. Okay. Henry, if you're watching this, fuck you. I'm going to do it, right? Okay. I'm beating Alex to it as well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, usually, I mean, I think that's, that's a lot of where my time goes. Just yeah, waiting for yeah. the next set to come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. What, what rank are you right now? Right now, I'm only gold two, but I'm getting oh a lot of LP my and every Lord. win. Oh, so. my Okay. Don't that's, worry, I'll get there. That's I'll get definitely there. a climb. <laughs> Who are you competing with, Alex? A guy named Alex. Yeah. Right, right. What rank is he right now? Oh, he's worse than me. He's silver something. Oh my lord! Don't How are you guys gonna get to it? I can do it. I can do it. Don't right. worry about that. Okay, okay. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you, Akash. Was it? Yes. Yes. Pleasure speaking to you too, Frank. Oh, all right. See ya. How are you doing? You too. Was that fun? That was great. That was okay. actually quite nice. That's good. Great experience. Yeah. Thank I'm you. glad.